Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey Calvary, this is Ben. Uh, I have your word for the day and it's in Matthew 23, uh, verses 25 through 27. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you clean the outside of the cup and the plate, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. You blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup and the plate, that the outside also may be clean. So these verses to me, and I'm sure to you, are pretty self-evident of what Jesus is talking about, and that's our character and our heart being in good condition, um, more important than what, how we come off to the world on the outside. Uh, for me, a great example of that would be simply doing this word for the day. It's like, how do I come off? Am I saying ask instead of ax? And saying the right thing? And do I come off well? And that's not what really matters. What really matters is, is Christ saying something through me that hopefully will resonate with, with all of you um, instead of coming off eloquent or perfect in my speech. Another thing for me would be uh, I play on stage. And is it important to me that you guys see me as a good guitar player or one smaller element uh, helping you usher into worship? And sometimes it's, hey, check out this guitar lick. And then other times, in my, on my better days, it's, uh, I just really want you guys to worship and, and connect you to the Lord and fade into the background. And so that's a check for me to make sure the outside of the cup really doesn't matter how much how clean it is. It's what's going on in the inside. Where's my motives? And uh, there's a couple of ways that we can do this, and that is just simple repentance and asking for forgiveness of the things that are inside of us that just aren't Christ-like. And another way is asking for accountability, um, gathering accountability partners, even if it's just one, and make sure it's someone that you really trust and is going to be honest with you. Another element of this that I thought of is being able to discern other people's cups. And if they're just shiny on the outside and come off as good Christians uh, from the outside, but on the inside there's just greed and, and rottenness. Um, an example of this for me would be on the positive side, our own pastor, who some of, all of you know that he's Pastor Chad, but some of you may not know that he's Dr. Chad. And that to me is telling of how his heart is in the right place as our pastor because he doesn't go announce that he's Dr. Chad. These word for the days, when he does them, it could be announced, and now your word for the day with Dr. Chad. And uh, he doesn't do that. And you wouldn't even know it talking to him that, that he's uh, taken his education that far. And I think that's, that's really telling of his character. And it's just so nice that when he, he greets me, I go, hey, Chad, and that's it. Another example of a cup maybe that's not so clean on the inside is I've been to churches where the pastor will tell his own family, when we're at church amongst the congregation, make sure you call me pastor so-and-so. And I don't know if that's someone you really want to hit your ministry to. So um, make sure that you're not only checking your own heart to make sure that it's clean, but being discerned, wise, um, to make sure that you're understanding that other people, uh, where their hearts are coming from and if they're in good condition. Because you don't want to give your pearls before people who are just going to waste them. So uh, we just want to make sure our hearts are, are in the right place and that we're loving people and we're doing it with the right motives. So I hope this helps you and have a great day, Calvary.